So I had this great idea. I was going to go online and I was going to buy Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare and The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan, which are my two audiobooks I'm working on. I was going to do this thing where I read along with the book in the book and that it was going to be great and it was going to be fine. And I swear it was with the best of intentions. But that is not what happened the last time I went on a book buying spree. So today I have for you a very special book haul. The that's not what I meant to buy book haul, but you know, that's what happened. So I actually only ended up spending $40, which is amazing considering I bought 11 books. But you know, that's what that's what hauls are for. You just show all the books you didn't mean to buy or you meant to buy and then did. So I got all of these books from Thrift Books. I'm not this video is not sponsored, but I love them. I've been buying from them for years. So this is where I get all of my used hard copies from. Which brings us to the first two books in this book haul. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and Clockwork Prince. And if you notice, Clockwork Prince actually says it's collector's first edition, which, you know, is cool. Not too big of a fan of the Shadowhunter series, but collector's editions are always nice. You know, it's nice. And... Remember when I said I only spent $40? This right here in a normal bookstore would be $40. And everything after these two is like getting it free, so yeah, free is good. I like free. And then I said the other book I was going to get was Rick Riordan's The Dark Prophecy. I did not get that second book in the Trials of Apollo series. What I did get were the second and third books in the Kane Chronicles. I actually own both of these on my Nook, but now I have the physical copies. Um, I would have gotten the, the, uh, the first one, The Red Pyramid, as well. Except well, the copy they had said it didn't have a dust jacket, and so I was like, ah, you know, I really want the dust jacket. Might not have got this one if it had, if it had said it didn't have a dust jacket, or maybe I would have got the other one. Not sure how that goes. And I mean, every once in a while you do get one that doesn't come with a dust jacket, but I got a bunch of hardcovers, and this is the only one that didn't come with a dust jacket. So again, really happy about that. And you know, the underrated Kane siblings, which do take place in the Percy Jackson universe. And then, you know, I still, I still got books in the Rick Riordan world, just not the one I went out to get. I got The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, and The Mark of Athena. Actually, How the House of Hades and The Blood of Olympus, I got those when they were released, because by then I was caught up with the series and I really wanted to know. And look, well, I already had the last two in a hardcover, I should get the rest in hardcover. So, you know, that's five books by Rick Riordan right there. But oh, am I done? No, no I'm not. I also got The Summer Sword, which is the first book in the Magnus Chase series, which is the Norse trilogy that goes along with the, the Percy Jackson universe. So, you know, that's six Rick Riordan books that I got that were not the one I set out to buy when I went on the internet that day. So yeah, that's a thing. Soul Eater by Atsushi Okobu. I actually just finished this one. I'm going to be doing a review on it soon, but I know I like the series now, so I'm going to stick it out and get all 25 volumes. And then I was like, well, you know, I can't have a book haul and not get books I haven't read before. But when I buy used books, I tend to stick to the popular books because they are a lot cheaper than the, le the less popular or the newer stuff. Um, I either go very popular or very obscure because those are both tend to be the cheapest books. And this time I went popular, I got an ex-library copy of The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have not read this, and I, you know, for an ex-library copy, this is probably one of the nicer hardcovers I've been sent. Um, so I, I'm going to do this new thing now where I read the first book in a series, and if I like it, just get the rest of the series. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and start doing that now, so I'm not just sitting there waiting for books to come out, or, you know, at least going as far as I can. And then the last book that I got is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I was actually going to pick Shatter Me up before it became popular. Um, I just never got around to buying it and then it got really popular and I was like, well now I don't want to read it. I feel like enough time has passed. I can I can read it and determine whether or not I like it. This is the only soft cover I got aside from the manga, um, which is almost always in soft cover. It's also probably the most beat up book I got. But again, I got all of those books that you just saw for less than $40, so I'm not going to kick about one book that has a bent cover or one book missing a dust jacket, because, I mean, hardcover is like $20 a pop, and there is one, two, three, there's six, 
there's nine hardcovers there. I, you know, you think I could have just done the math on that? Eleven books minus two softcovers is nine. Like, was that was that so hard for me to do? Can I get them all in there? Can I get them all in there? Oh, I got them all in there. It's very hard to see Shatter Me or Clockwork Prince. I feel like I have to sacrifice one of them. Oh, yep, yep, I did it. And I mean, the only the only problem that a lot of people have with thrift books is that they come with these stickers on the side of the books that helps them, you know, catalog where the books come from. But I mean, they peel off so easily. It's like they were never there. Alright everyone, so that was a kind of spontaneous book haul. That was not the book haul I was intending- that is not the book haul I was intending to film. I still have another book haul coming with the books that were supposed to be on it, but I mean, I got 11 books in one e-shopping trip when I only meant to buy two. That was supposed to go my other haul, but then there's so many. I was like, I, I have to break this up. I have to- this is why people go on book buying vans. The other thing is, like I said, I have read everything but Shatter Me and Daughter of Smoke and Bone, so it's not, it's not like I had too many books to my TBR. Most of these I decided to get physically now because I either own them on my e-reader or I own a digital copy of them. A couple of them I checked out from the library, um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop this rambling and <laughs> if you liked what you saw today go ahead and give this video a like and if you want to see more of my content go ahead and subscribe and until next time. Talk to you later.